Welcome and thank you, each and every one of you, whether you're a member or a family person or somebody concerned with the community, for being here with us today. Let's have a big cheer for labor in St. Louis. In Belgium and in Europe, we already experienced what globalization can do for the workers' rights. We managed to organize ourselves and succeeded with actions, if necessary, and negotiations, if possible, to maintain working conditions and salary for the great majority of our workers. We shall gladly share our experiences with our colleagues from the Teamster Union and the other unions. The only way that they can be combated effectively is through organized power through the organized power of the labor movement and through the organized power of worker community alliances in all the countries involved and through the organized power of the global working class organized within that company. We unite today because we know good jobs build strong communities. The AB contract is the cornerstone of the company's value to St. Louis and other communities. Three and one half billion dollars of wages and benefits provide an engine for the local economies. The Teamsters contract will be the first real me measure of the AB InBev commitment to the communities. On Monday, we will make a key contract demand. We will ask for an ironclad agreement in writing that no breweries in the United States will close. We unite today because good jobs build good communities. We must all adapt to new circumstances. Today, the Teamsters in St. Louis are adapting to a new international reality. Part of that reality must be to preserve these good jobs and the communities that they're in. But let's not forget we're also preserving the American dream. The Teamsters Union is prepared to defend the American dream in St. Louis and across this country of ours. So I'd like to introduce to you someone who really needs no introduction, the Secretary Treasurer of our great union, Tom Kegel. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I bring you greetings from our General President, Jim Hoppe. I'm happy to be here today with you for this very important rally. We are rallying today because we want to protect the future of Anheuser-Busch and what Anheuser-Busch means to the great city of St. Louis. Anheuser and the Bud brand owe their success to union workers from the great union. And they're from the great unions we have here with us today, the machinists, the electrical workers, the building trades, SEIU, Change to Win unions, St. Louis Labor Council, and my teacher brothers and sisters standing in fight. As you know, Anheuser-Busch has been purchased by an overseas company, InBev. InBev has made a lot of promises as this buyout moved forward. We are here to call on InBev to keep the promises it's made, including its promise to St. Louis. 
St. Louis is a city that the world identifies with Budweiser, and we want it to stay that way. The new owners have said that they value this tradition. They've pledged to keep St. Louis and Ouser Bush's North American headquarters in the home of the Budweiser brand. And we expect InBev to keep its promise to value this skilled, dedicated workforce and recognize their role in the Ann Ouser Bush legacy. But we also hope that InBev knows how much generations of St. Louis workers have done for Ann Ouser Bush. Union workers across the country at Ann Ouser Bush breweries and distributorships have made Budweiser number one. We expect it, number one, Bud, you did it.